Hi, this is Michael Christie, Music Director of the Colorado Music Festival, and welcome to our first webcast detailing our 2009 season. We open on Sunday, June 28th with Lerner, Lowe, and Leroy. I thought it would be a fun way to start off what will be a great season. Our World Music Series starts on Tuesday, June 30th with Punch Brothers, a group that has band leader Chris Teeley. Many of you probably know his work with Mark O'Connor, Yo-Yo Ma, and Edgar Meyer. Well, Chris also leads a band called Punch Brothers, and it's bluegrass to start off our World Music Series. To begin our festival orchestra series, I wanted to have the focus solely on the wonderful musicians that we bring together from all around the world to play for you at the Colorado Music Festival. And so we start off with Bernstein's jazzy prelude, fugues, and riffs. We give the orchestra a great chance to sing, so to speak, in Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, a great symphonic portrait. And then the work that I was able to bring to New York Philharmonic when I made my debu debut with that orchestra a year ago, Copland's Third Symphony, with its magnificent fanfare for the common man that is heard throughout the piece. One of the things I've enjoyed in my tenure as music director of the Colorado Music Festival is bringing lots of music from different cultures into the orchestral world. And so I've been able to discover a wonderful Iranian-American composer whose music is quite a bit like Rimsky-Korsakov or the other glorious Russian masters. But he's taken a slightly new approach to that. But the music is that kind of effervescent and colorful orchestration. Uh, Bezad Ranjbaran is currently on the composition faculty at the Juilliard School of Music and is making a big splash in the orchestral world. And so we're going to play one of his most famous pieces, a piece called Seven Passages from his Persian Trilogy. I've also had the opportunity to meet lots of different performing artists from around the world and get to know a lot of different instruments, too, that are not as conventional in the Western orchestra. The pipa, which is a Chinese instrument, which is held on the lap and played strummed like a guitar but held vertically, is uh, really making quite a, an important statement in world music generally. And Wu Man is often thought of as the expert in the performance of the pipa. And many composers, including Tan Dun, who wrote the film music for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and lots of other great pieces, has written this concerto for her. And Wu Man has had dozens of pieces written for her by composers of world music and just regular Western orchestral music as well. Now, I wanted to make sure that somehow we were able to connect the dots of Ranj Baran's Iranian influence Tan Dun's Chinese influence with the Western Symphony Orchestra. And it struck me that there is one composer that really started the world music craze, and that was Dvorak through his New World Symphony. And I hope, although we've listened to New World Symphony many times in our lives, that you'll be able to listen to the New World Symphony in a completely different way now that we have uh, this East meets West in such clear focus. Well, I like to have fun as much as anybody else at a concert. And so I've put together a program where there are little jokes here and there. Uh, Rossini, as many of you know, the great Italian opera composer, really had a great time with the orchestra and lots of little gags. And his Il Signor Bruschino overture is a, a schoolmaster trying to get the attention of the pupils. And you'll hear how he does that in a very funny way. Uh, we're very happy to uh, feature our principal harp and principal flute playing Mozart's beautiful flute and harp concerto. And then Joseph Haydn, who the world is celebrating a very important anniversary this year, often would include wonderful jokes in his symphonies. And you'd think, how do you have 104 completely independent symphonies? Well, when you hear symphony number 90 and the jokes he includes, you'll see why. The whole movement of world music, East meets West, has been bringing artists of different ages, ethnicities, cultural backgrounds together. And this group of young, hot musicians from New York City have been working closely with artists like Yo-Yo Ma and his Silk Road project. And they've even started working on their own projects. And so Brooklyn Rider, when you see string quartet, it will have some string quartet music, but plan on hearing a lot of fascinating sounds from the various music that they've been able to work on in their various collaborations 
in their world music endeavors. It's always lovely to have wonderful relationships with artists that come to the Colorado Music Festival. And for those of you who heard Osvaldo Goliath's Ina Damar, the flamenco opera we performed two seasons ago, you'll remember Jessica Rivera, the radiant soprano who sang the lead role. Well, she's back with us to sing Mahler's Fourth Symphony and Barber's Knoxville, Summer of 1915. We've had some very energetic concerts leading up to this one, and I think this gives us a chance to take a little breath and uh, enjoy the beautiful spaciousness of being up in Chautauqua with its beautiful environment and enjoy the wonderful sounds of the Colorado Music Festival Orchestra. During our monumental Beethoven cycle this past summer where we performed all nine Beethoven symphonies in seven days, people often asked me, how on earth are you going to top this? Well, it's hard to top all of Beethoven's nine symphonies, but I've decided to look a slightly different direction and pick the greatest piano concertos of all time. So we start off with Prokofiev in his third piano concerto, and we welcome a marvelous pianist named Ji Chen, who will be performing this great work. But also on this concert, we'll be presenting the Colorado premiere of the Oscar-winning animated short by Susie Templeton of Peter and the Wolf. So you'll get to watch this beautiful stop animation with the orchestra playing along with the film. Van Cliburn winner John Nakamatsu has also been a favorite of Colorado Music Festival audiences, and so we're thrilled to have him be performing the Grieg Piano Concerto. There are almost no works in the entire repertory that are more famous than Grieg's Piano Concerto, but perhaps Grieg's Pier Gint might edge it out. Those beautiful melodies, sumptuous sounds from the orchestra. So rather than just playing the two normal suites, the shortened version of the of the full score, I wanted to look at more in depth, and so you'll hear much more of the music than you normally get to hear. I hope you'll find this to be a wonderful way to continue our series of five piano concertos, five composers. I often feel like a kid in the candy shop when I'm standing before the musicians of the Colorado Music Festival. It's an orchestra of great virtuosity, energy, and life. So for week five, we'll be looking at legends in the symphonic repertory. Mendelssohn's Midsummer Night's Dream. Also from Scandinavia, Sibelius's wonderful Lemminkainen and the Maidens of Sari, a great story from the Finnish folk legends. And then a work that is very rarely performed, but is often acknowledged as one of Richard Strauss's masterworks. And this is music from the ballet Joseph's Legend. I think you're going to enjoy hearing our virtuoso orchestra in its full glory. We close the 2009 Colorado Music Festival with Haydn's Creation, a wonderful chance for us to bring out our festival chorus, three wonderful young soloists, and the magnificent Colorado Music Festival Orchestra for Haydn's Creation. This work tells the biblical tale of the creation of the world from the first moments the sun is seen to all the creation in the heavens and the earth. We hope that you enjoy this great way to conclude our 2009 season and hope to see you many times up at Chautauqua. I was struck by how many of you came to hear Beethoven Rocks last summer, and we want to make sure that you can hear all five of our piano concerti. And so, like last year, we're going to offer all five concerts to you for just $100.